Have you guys been keeping up with Liver King? So the name is Liver King because liver is king! <laughs> Lately, I know after the whole steroids buckle, he kind of went into silence. Not many people heard from him. He kept posting and being idealistically crazy, but he still is out there. And I think he just kind of got lost in the algorithm. I don't really know what happened. I just never see his content anymore. No one talks about it. No one publishes it. But there's been some crazy shit happening in the Liver King hood. And I wanted to talk about it today because it's a great example of what going too far into one direction and too extreme into one belief can do to you at the end of the day. See this with like Mormonism and shit? Uh, people, you know, trying to leave the Church of Scientology, it's weird shit like this. But if we go to his Instagram, you'll see one thing really, really interesting, um, almost right away, which <laughs> is it's pretty crazy. Uh, he's he's kind of posting in a different pattern. Let's just look at this, right? He's actually taking out his growth from one pen. I have a room right there. So put a little bit of growth home on each of the fibers that I want to synergize and amplify and make it concise, compress all of that pure fucking goodness into one. I've been insecure about my height since I was a little fucking kid. I was called half pint and little Brian. I'm like, that's that's new. That's crazy. Uh, but we're not even close to peak new liver king, though. You'll never fucking believe my best day here in Poland. I'm smoking a Polish cigarette, drinking some Polish beer. I'm here with my new Polish friend. Yeah, I love said about this level. Oh, there you go. Serducho. It's why he said it. It's how he said it. It's not what he said. It has nothing to do. We can't communicate with words or metaphors. Like, what is going on? Where is he right now? If we, I mean, just look at what's going on here, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck? He's in some kind of like, rug basement. He's drinking a beer, smoking a dart inside. There's drawings all over the walls. You have little weird, like, ritual things back there. You have horns on the walls with cursor, uh, like, uh, necklaces hanging from it. I assume those are, uh, cur what the fuck do they call them? A Christian, or God, or it was. No, no, don't get me wrong. Uh, the, oh my God, the cross the Jesus necklaces, whatever you want to call those things. He's got, you know, weird pictures behind him. What is going on? Like, look at this, look at the background. Where is this man and who is he talking to? I am a bit concerned about his well-being. The comments are absolutely stellar too. Just pure fucking comedy. Bro's having a midlife crisis. Primals need to know how many packs of primal cigarettes a day do we need to achieve greatness? We got liver gig ripping cigs before GTA 6. This is moments before he bought the crack and cocaine. <laughs> Blink twice if you've been kidnapped. And I mean, Jesus, dude, he's not aging well either. This guy looks fucked, man. I, oh, should even the comments say this? Like, I'm 52 and look 20 years younger than this dude. Uh, but he's admitting to his, his past flaws, you know, talking about how he didn't always do carnivore and obviously he did steroids and stuff. So, I mean, that's good, which is, is great to see. I love to see people, you know, admitting to their flaws. But, man, it's just such a weird situation, to be honest with you. It's such a weird fucking situation. Because you have a guy who was originally, at one point, very pro-carnivore. Very, don't do anything that normal society wants you to do. Don't believe in any of this shit. It's all bad. Literally shooting rocket launchers at cigarettes and beers and all this crazy shit. And now you have the same guy in some random dude's basement with drawings all over the walls that looks like he took LSD just a couple hours ago, smoking cigarettes, drinking beers. And then in another video, I have him pinning growth hormone in his shoulder. I don't think he's actually pinning it. He's talking about pinning it in his eye, uh, talking about how he's short and how he's always been insecure and wears shoes to actually increase his height, which I, okay, for one, cannot ignore the fact that these things are, you know, not the worst things you can do in the world, for sure, right? Like ripping a dart isn't going to be the worst thing uh, in the world to do. I smoked cigarettes before, not religiously, but I like a good toke here and there. It's nice to pass the time, but it's not something I do regularly or even close to regularly. And it's certainly not something that I think he's doing regularly. It says in his comment section that he's just doing this because he offered the cigarette to him and he took it as a nice gesture. I don't know. It's, it's interesting to see for me though, because we have someone who is so 
so solidified in the way of life that he had chosen for himself, or at least given the mirage to all of us that he had chosen for himself. And now it's like the deviation from that is so severe to the other side. He's living free. He's very apparently hanging out with some interesting individuals, doing things that he would have never done before and living a completely different lifestyle. In one sense, I'm happy for the guy because he's able to break free of the chains that kept him into the liver king persona, which is great because I would hate to be on social media and be someone I'm not every day, all day, just because I'm liver king or I'm somebody who, you know, does that kind of shit. I don't know. But to see him thriving and doing well, even if the choices aren't necessary, it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. And um, I'm, I'm proud of him for stepping outside of his comfort zone in his box. It's just interesting to see how he's publicizing it. And in some part, I believe this is just an art, another marketing technique in some capacity, except I just don't see the end point here. Is it just to gain virality? Because there's not really a product you can leverage by saying, you know, be truthful and smoke cigarettes and drink beer. <laughs> Enjoy time as it's passing is essentially what he says. But maybe he just makes enough ad revenue that it's it's worth it for him that's a that's a very real possibility it just i don't see a good person coming out of this right i think there was like the pendulum always swings and this is with everything in life politics uh your own personal beliefs everything you you swing one way too far and after enough time and too much of a severe belief in anything it starts to swing the other way and when it swings that motherfucker really swings and i think we're seeing this real time with liver king but of course we all kind of go through some something like this and as a bodybuilder especially you guys probably know if you are one that when you're dieting for months on end and you stop dieting hardcore it's really easy to let that pendulum swing way way over to the wrong side where you're binge eating and you're doing horrible behaviors that you never did after being super regimented for several months I mean it can get pretty gross and disgusting with what kind of person you can turn into with just a few short days off of a diet but here we're seeing it in a different kind of light and it's a very again I don't know at, is it a good thing? I can't really say. Is it a bad thing? I don't think it's good. I don't think it's bad. I think it's kind of net neutral. But what do you guys think in the comments down below? Tell me. I want some discussions here. First of all, we have very clear evidence that he's taking your own because he takes out the Sarah Stimpen, which is great. Uh, but what's going on with this guy?